Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, Rewards Day on FIFA Ultimate Team. We need to take a look ahead at what is going to happen today with rewards, what's going to happen with the market, and of course, talk about Batch 2 cards that are actually coming, now confirmed, tomorrow on Friday. EA Sports changed the date on their screen right here. They, it was originally supposed to be expiring and these were ex these set to go away Thursday at 6 p.m. UK based off the timer in foot, but they changed it now to match the website for summer heat and it now is going to be Friday at 6 p.m. UK. So that's something uh, that was updated today that I don't think a lot of people have talked about, but we have one more day to wait until batch two does come out. We'll talk about that a little bit today, but honestly just talking about rewards, the supply on team of the season cards from rewards uh, because they're going to be again in top 100 packs in the elite packs in a lot of reds it's a lot of tots cards in rewards with some foot birthdays you know you'll see some other you know cards dispersed in there but mostly it's team of the seasons and also talk about these batch one cards their supply and then also the sbcs that are coming today we are most likely getting a kempembe center back psg SBC today from the vote that took place on Tuesday. So I think we're getting that SBC today um, on this game. And I think that's going to make some waves in the game as well. So I'll talk about that and maybe some ways that you can make coins because today is going to be a pretty, I think, a pretty exciting and pretty content filled day on FIFA. Thursdays usually are, especially with these types of rewards. That just kind of brings its own hype to the game because a lot of people are still playing the weekend league. But again, this is the date for the best of release number one, ending July 3rd. Again, as I mentioned, they changed the date on FIFA. It was supposed to end. The date they had in there before and a time was today at 6 p.m. UK. They adjusted it because they realized that they messed up in game the first time. So it is actually Friday the 3rd when the best of set two is going to be coming out. So maybe today with weekly rewards, you see a small bit of a rise on some of these foot birthday cards. Uh, because foot birthdays have been panic sold a lot. That is the first thing I want to just kind of talk about is these cards have been panic sold a lot and they're just, there's still some very usable, very popular cards. So maybe today, if you see these cards rise today after rewards, that would tell me, that would be a very, very clear telltale sign to me that there are a lot more casuals playing this game right now than maybe what we realize. Because if a casual is going to be the person most likely buying this card for their weekend league team, or buying a foot birthday card uh, because a casual would not know that these cards are most likely coming back into packs very soon. So that is something to think about today to keep in mind. If you want to get a little bit uh, risky, I guess you could say, and look at some of these cards, Hazard is actually up a decent amount uh, from where he was earlier today. So maybe this information is getting around. He was 500k. He was 500k flat around the middle of the day today. He's back up to 550. Uh, where he is now. Wow, he was really, really low earlier today. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Anyways, I would just say, could there be a rise in some of these foot birthdays today? Keep a close watch on it. You know, maybe somebody, I think a lot of the market today is going to revolve around French links and the Kempembe SBC as well, which we will talk about uh, in this video today as well. But I want to talk about team of the seasons first, because last week there was some supply, uh, supply on these cards because these guys are in packs again right elite packs top 100 packs you're going to see some supply on the market in the first few hours of weekend league rewards um can you buy these cards before rewards in my honest opinion i think you can especially if it's a very meta card and it's going to go up this week with links i talked in yesterday's video a lot about links this week and what are people going to be using in the weekend league french brazil Top five leagues are the things that are really sticking out to me. And I like team of the season cards still because they are cheap. They're technically out of packs. Their supply is very small, very little. And especially this some Awar, um, Atal, I'm a fan of. He's dropped down a lot right now. Um, you know, Di Maria is not a, not a bad one. Renato Sanchez. And some of these other French, uh, Brazilian, some La Liga cards. Bundesliga cards are kind of interesting to me still because a lot of people have that Sancho in their team. This Holland's getting kind of low. He, he fluctuates all the time between like 420 and 460. Um, and yeah, I'm just really interested to see. Wow, Nabry's getting low too. Shout out to that Paulinho today, dropping his price a bit. Werner's getting a little bit lower. Uh, just watch some of these cards at rewards. If you're able to be up and on the market and watching these undercuts during weekend league rewards, pick out a few French or Brazilian special cards, honestly, and just go through these, these team of the season uh, team lists 
and watch the supply. Watch these cards maybe get hit, drop down a little bit, especially a guy like a Wambasaka or maybe a guy like uh, Rashford. You know, somebody that's like 90, 92, 93 rated uh, because they're going to be popping up the most from these packs. Just kind of watch their, their uh, supply, right? If this Wambasaka uh, this morning during rewards maybe drops like 20,000 coins back down to the 220 range just for like a quick bit, you see a lot of undercuts of people packing in from elite packs and throwing them up on the market, that could be an opportunity to, to snag, uh, to snag and flip a couple hours later because the general trend of the market today for basically, you know, I would say 90% of cards is going to be some supply early on and then some rising into the later afternoon on Thursday and into Friday uh, on a lot of meta usable weekend league cards, especially out of packs, team of the seasons and icons. I'm still kind of watching icons decently close because I'm interested in those cards still. I'm interested in some of the cards in packs as well. Shapeshifters, headliners. Of course, the headliners are live cards, right? So if you can find some headliners that you think might have a decent shot of getting in uh, a team of the week because they're still playing, you know, Premier League guys have a few games to go um, and stuff like that. So just kind of kind of watch those prices as these cards do go out of packs in uh, a day. In a day, we're going to see these shapeshifters and stuff go out of packs. I'm probably going to snag a couple of these um, just for the transfer list um, because I do think they will rebound somewhat out of packs and especially some of the headliners and some of these shapeshifters because the shapeshifters are just really rare and people like those position changes for squad building this year. The last thing, or not the last thing, but the next thing I want to talk about, this Conte reminded me of it, is the Kempembe SBC that is most likely coming today because I think Kempembe is going to win. Now, a lot of us voted for uh, Kieta Balde because we just wanted that cool, overpowered looking card. I can't spell his name. Uh, Kiete, there we go. We kind of, I voted for this guy. A lot of people voted for this guy, uh, because we would think that this card as a 93 or 94 rated would be pretty insane, but it, I would think that Kempembe is going to be the winner today. So what does that do for the market? We have already had the SAR SBC, right? A lot of people have done SAR. He's a very, very good card, but a Kempembe SBC today, I think would have some major market movements, uh, especially in the realm of French center backs. Because people all year have been looking for French center backs to put in their team. A lot of people have played Varane this year. A lot of people have played Blanc and Desailly as their go-to French center backs. And now we have some other options. We got some Tots cards. We have some uh, new SBCs. We've got the SAR and stuff like that. But I think a Kempembe, being from PSG, being from uh, France, and just the type of card that he has in foot... Um, He's kind of like a cheap beast to start off the game. And if you just imagine this guy, who right now is highest rated card, I think is this 84 man of the match, Champions League. Uh, if you see him get like a plus nine or a plus 10 boost, because all of the Summer Heat voting cards so far have been 93 or 94 rated. I mean, we're talking high 80s pace. We're talking above 80 passing, above 80 dribbling. In the 90s, mid to high 90s on defense and physical this card is going to look insane. He already has really good stats in all categories as an 84 rated card. So this card today is going to be a big one for the market. Regardless of its price, it's probably not going to be super high. I mean, I would expect nothing more than 250,000 coins for this, like maybe an 84 and an 85 rated squad at the most. And I think a lot of people are going to go out and do that because it fits so many people's squads. So that's why I really like the league on team of the seasons for a rise later on into Thursday and other French cards as well. And then you're going to want to watch the drop and the panic selling on other French center backs, especially icons, Blanc, Desailly, all versions, uh, and some of the other team of the seasons like Upamecano or Mukiele, um, or there was somebody else that I was going to uh, look at too. Um, I, Upamecano, Mukiele, maybe those are the only two. Uh, oh, Conte Shapeshifter. This is a card that I'm super interested in today because he's kind of been chilling around the 220k mark all week in packs, of course. Today with some reward supply. And I know the the you know the Premier League is kind of hyped up right now with some of the special cards that we've gotten. But with reward supply and a French center back coming into FIFA, if this card drops at all today, if I see him go around 200k flat, maybe drop 20k, I'm going to get super duper interested. And this Kempembe SBC could, if it is juiced enough and it's cheap enough, could be one of those SBCs that just kind of drops uh, the market in a lot of different areas. And you might see some sell-off on, on a lot of these cards. Not just 
you know, cards that are in packs because they're getting supplied through SBCs and stuff. But you might see some panic selling on other team of the season cards, right? So this is, wow, 505 for Ben Yedder. This guy is down a lot, man. This is down further than I would have kind of imagined that he would drop. But that's pretty crazy. Uh, it's probably going to go a little bit lower tomorrow before maybe rising up into the weekend a little bit. Just, I would just watch some of these cards, right? Know which cards rise in the weekends. A lot of right backs and left backs are still moving a decent amount on the weekend because we haven't had any summer heat cards that replace these TOTS cards. So people, if they're using, you know, people may be using the Kessie objective card this week, the Zlatan, um, other cards like that. Maybe you have a guy like Quadrado do decently well. Uh, we haven't had a lot of right wing special items uh, through the Summer Heat promo. Atala is 730. He was over 800K last weekend, I believe. Uh, Holland hit 500K on the weekend, I believe, last weekend, or at least high 400s. He's like 420, 415 at some points during rewards. You guys know the meta cards. You can go through a flipping squad and tell which kind of cards are meta and hyped up, and especially ones that have risen already this week. Robertson's up. Rashford's up. Wambasaka, Trent, uh, you know, Vardy. Uh, Salah is up a decent amount because of all the, the Firmino and the Fabinho SBCs. That's another thing that's happening today that we have to talk about as well. Uh, we are going to be getting either an upgraded Phil Foden or an upgraded Fabinho. So I think that SBC might be expiring very soon and I have to go complete that really soon. But uh, we're getting this card upgraded today or we're getting Phil Foden because that game uh, is today as well as my Spurs. You know, we're sporting the top. Spurs are also playing today, earlier in the day. So that's kind of hype. Here we get, we're getting some Thursday IRL football action. Now, I will say, if you do have this Fabinho card and you're hoping for him to get upgraded and using him in the weekend league this weekend, I would not keep your hopes up too much. He goes away in 14 hours as I'm recording this. So what is that going to be? That's going to be about uh, 6 p.m. UK-ish, actually. 6 p.m. UK on Thursday is when this would go away. The game is two hours after that, so if you're going to do one or both of these SBCs, make sure you get it in, make sure you get that done and dusted for your club, and, and put that in your club, but that's a big, big thing for today. I really hope that EA is able to upgrade these cards, whoever wins, hope they're able to upgrade them within a couple hours or a day, because I know a lot of you guys want to use this Fabinho in the weekend league, and if he goes to a 95, I will even think about using him in my weekend league squad as well, but again... Just to talk about the supply today, what I will imagine for a lot of cards, if it's a usable meta weekend league card, whether it's in packs like this headliner Neymar, whether it's out of packs like some of these team of the seasons, um, I would expect a little bit of a dip right away and then a possible rebound. This Dybala card is very interesting to me as well because a lot of people are using Ibra, a lot of people are using Kessie, and a lot of people are trying to factor in some sort of form of Ronaldo as well in those squads with those players. So just kind of watch out for team of the seasons this week and icons, I think are a little bit overlooked still. I know it, it seems crazy to want to buy a mid or a baby icon, but people love icons in FIFA. And if they can get links somehow in their squads, they get those strong links with the icons. Um, a lot of these are down because of Fabinho as well and, and other SBCs. This Essien was like 1.1 mil last weekend. He's 900K, that's low. This Makalele was 250 on the weekend last weekend. I bought one for 190 two nights ago. I think he's still right around 200,000 coins. So I think there are a decent amount of these cards that still could rise up this weekend. Uh, I talked about this Navas inform yesterday. He's going to be in packs a little bit tomorrow. But once Kempembe comes out, I really, really like this card. He's 40K at the moment. If I see one under 40, I'm going to snag. Any 39s back here? All right, I'm going to go snag one at 40K just so I have one in the club. Uh, and I don't, uh, I haven't bought any of these yet. So I want to get one at 40,000 coins if I can. Bang, 40K. I will take that. Thank you. And that's another investment. I've got 3.1 mil coins to work with tonight yet um, because I do still think you'll see a little bit of a rise in the market heading to 6 p.m. And then after 6 p.m., once that SBC comes out and whatever else content we get for today on Thursday. And then I think you will see the rest of the market rise into the weekend as people start to buy their teams because they're still hyped for this game, still hyped for weekend league. People are grinding objectives and stuff like that. So again, that's how I feel about the uh, rewards market today. If you do want to do one thing, this is actually a, you know, I'm not, I'm not a super uh, invested in and really about these SBC fodder 83s, 84s, but almost every SBC they keep putting out 
every day in this game has been 83 or 84 rated maybe 85 rated this ozil card just yesterday or maybe it was tuesday he was 9,000 coins all day long peaked at 11,000. even yesterday uh he dropped down a little bit but this guy's been dropping a lot he's 6.8k right now a lot of these 84s have started to drop so if you're somebody who likes to trade with these you know good links good nations um, of course, if we do get a Kempembe today, maybe you look at a guy like Rufier just because he's one of the cheapest league on 84s. If you need a French player, I mean, this guy was, uh, he was 8k, 8.5k and 8k on the Xbox on Tuesday. Right now he's 6,000 coins. So during rewards, you might see these cards drop down a little bit, even lower. I would say if you're somebody who likes to go unassigned and you like to buy a lot of fodder cards, take a look at 83s and 84s with good links conditions. And just kind of look at the graphs, right? This Moutinho card probably was extinct at some point. 13K. Uh, this guy, look at this. Like every couple days, he goes from, he goes down to 7K, up to 9. He's been chilling around the upper 8 points to 9. So right now he's 6K. Just watch these cards during rewards, 83s through 85s, and maybe snag some of those. One other thing you could do is do a little bit of a club stock on some of the batch 1 special cards that are uh, cheapest players by rating, like Delaney a usable and one of the cheapest 87s in the game if you can see this guy for like 16 17k during rewards i would snatch it madison i would snatch it de young snatch it put one in the club idrissa gay snatch it put one in the club tagliafico put one in the club jerry moreno do that just go through this list some of the cheapest 80 87s through 89s maybe some 86s as well like a deli a sancho um, just maybe just buy one, throw it in the club, and then you'll be able to use it for a SBC later down on the road. Or as those cards go out of packs and there's still a lot of SBC demand for the prime icon and stuff like that, I think you will see a bit of a rise on the market in those cards today as well. Very, very quickly at the end of this video, I want to cover the Paulinho content from yesterday and just kind of talk about this because I see what EA is trying to do here. And I, I want to just kind of, uh, I guess... Can I give EA some accolades and maybe a thumbs up? Because uh, the what what their whole idea with this is, and they tweeted this out today, introducing Summer Heat, Silver Stars, Silver Rated Player Items given massive boost. Um, what they're trying to do is th they've heard us, right? They know that we loved tournaments. They know that we loved the Brasilvers in older FIFAs. This is like a Foot Economist uh, SBC and type of content written all over it. But... A lot of people are not reacting positively to this because it's a 74 rated card in FIFA at a time in the game when we're getting all 90 plus cards as our new cards for content. And the point here is, what does this card do for us in FIFA? What is the point of this card? Well, a lot of people didn't realize this right away today, but there's actually an objective set that is um, made for that card. This objective set right here, the rare players pack, it's three silver related challenges silver setup you basically have to play with silver players in all these squads no gold or bronze players allowed so basically ea here is trying to make a silver sort of tournament in classic and online friendly matches winning three scoring five goals and assisting in two separate matches so it's a very easy 50k pack to get if you want to spend a little bit of time but this just the rewards aren't really there and this is i tweeted out today and i said they're giving us this card and making us play games for no rewards yes you do get the 50k pack reward from the objective but you don't get any gameplay rewards other than just the match coins that was my issue with that content today and why i said what i did because if this is back to the brasilvers from old fifas then this is uh they're trying to emulate a silver tournament which a silver tournament if you won that tournament you got a pack or like a coin boost or something like maybe like 10k or something like that whatever it was in the old fifas you actually got other rewards along with that from just playing the game all right so uh this is definitely just interesting content from ea i see what they're trying to do here but the a lot of people aren't happy with this because it's low rated and they're like hey at the very least i can't turn this guy in for an sbc and it just feels weird turning eight, two 83 rated squads in for a 74 rated player um, to do that SBC. The only positive thing you could do with this is you could have a very low rated super sub. If you like to bronze bench, this is like a, a 74 rated card that would keep your team rating kind of low, but still have pretty juiced up stats. Hopefully he gets a dynamic. I don't see him having one right now. 
It is an okay looking card. It's decent. 97 strength with 98 agility and balance is very interesting, but he definitely is a winger. Cannot finish that well. 81 finishing at this stage of the game. He does provide some interesting links. Am I going to do him? Probably not, uh, unless I see some other reason to do this SBC. But uh, just interesting content along the lines from EA Sports FIFA with that today. But again, market movements today, a lot of supply from rewards. I still think you're going to see an uptick on summer areas of the market. Just be careful. Pick those spots accordingly. And I would say... If you don't feel comfortable buying anything for rewards today, there should be some panic around the 6 p.m. UK time, some selling off if the Kempembe SBC is good. And especially if Fabinho gets the 95 upgrade, which you might see after the Liverpool and City game is a rush and an influx on Liverpool cards because people go out and buy these cards. Liverpool has the hype right now anyway. Their cards are already a little bit inflated, but... You might see an additional boost on some of those Liverpool special cards, usable ones in game. Trent, Van Dyke, Fabinho, or I mean, um, maybe like Wijnaldum headliners. Just throw, thinking of Liverpool special cards, Salah, Mane, uh, different versions of those cards. You could see a bit of a rise on those just because there's going to be Liverpool hype again with this card getting upgraded and people wanting to link him even more so in their squads if he does, if Liverpool do get the win today so that's a longer rewards day video but there's a lot of stuff going on today so i did want to cover it if you enjoyed it smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out